Can the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus handle me drawing with 50 plus layers while also casting my screen to my computer to live stream? Well, technically it did lag a little bit, so yes, it can. I don't know if it's because it can handle 50 plus layers or it's because I was using a link to Windows that lets me control my Note 10 Plus screen on my computer that I was using to live stream. And as you guys know from my very first live stream, after a couple hours, links to Windows sometimes likes to crash and that is really, really bothersome. But this time I prepped for it. I saved every couple minutes or so, not every couple minutes, I saved every few hours. I was streaming this for at least three hours and I did not know what I wanted to do. So that's why I had so many layers and I was experimenting with things and but just layer wise it handled it really really well um my end the only time that it glitched for me with just the layers was after i was done with the drawing and then i went back and i tried to view it again and then the half of the canvas was just like glitching was black but it was fine and then i just like restarted the app but otherwise it actually went pretty really really well and with this drawing i did not know what i wanted to do so i just focused on the coloring and color scheme uh, i made her skin purple and the hair yellow because yellow and purple they're complementary colors to each other and i wanted it to have like um cool vibe actually i'm not sure i was just playing around and building up with different layers that's why i had so many layers i duplicated a lot of layers i tried and the thing is it's not like i had a bunch like it's not just like i had a bunch of layers i had a bunch of layers that had a lot of layer styles i was just playing around with multiply soft glow a lot of different modes and also i went in there and i played around with the colors of each of those layers so it's not just like oh i had like a layer with like just the basic layer i just i i did a lot of stuff with those layers and also with each layer it was like a giant set of shading like it wasn't just like oh it wasn't just like base coloring and then another base coloring for the eyes i did have those but then i had a lot of different coloring layers where i tried different tools and different modes and trying out a different way to color and for this drawing i use my samsung norris Taylor digital pencil. I know that's a mouthful, but I like to say the full name so that way people know. Um, it's like Sam. It's a collaboration of Samsung and Taylor. They came together. They made a the best best stylus ever. I love drawing on this. And I took my time and I zoomed in. And the reason that I kind of like this format is because you guys could see that my screen and then you guys could see me like physically drawing on this and how it's like drawing for long periods of hours. Like sometimes I had it on my desk, sometimes I had it in my hand, sometimes I lay back. And that's the great thing about having a note like that's why i love this phone like yes you could do that with an ipad you could do that with tab s6 there's so many devices nowadays that have great pen able pen technology but the reason i like the note is because it's just really portable like i was just sitting on I was just sitting at my desk and i was i wasn't straining for a long periods of time so usually it would be well, not really because I never had that type of problem, but now it's like the perfect, comfortable experience. I love it. Uh, and I was having a lot of fun with the stream. Um, usually I would stream on YouTube, but now I recently I moved all my streams to Twitch because I just prefer that platform a lot better and I can play co no, <laughs> copyrighted music without getting flagged for it. And it gives me more time to focus on the drawing instead of worrying about content on youtube titles tags and stuff like that and so i think i like this format a lot better and um i have a more consistent schedule now i'm going to be streaming every saturday from 7 p.m eastern time so if you guys want to join me next time it'll be really nice but if not i'll most likely be doing a recap like this uh depending on what i'm doing i'm not always going to be drawing on my phone all the time uh, because i'm going to be uh, streaming my process of making a web comic so i'll probably be using using a combination of all my different devices for the iPad, my laptop, and that's mainly it. And, but yes, with this, uh, the skin was the most difficult to <laughs> made a color to shade because shading with purple isn't as easy as it sounds. I thought I could just go down a bunch of purple values, but then that didn't really work. So I took a break and I went to the hair. The same thing with the hair is just like, 
uh, it's like yellow hair, it's not blonde hair, so I can't just like go down in the value because if I did, it would have been like a dark muddy green. So I just went with the Tetrad color palette, basically picking colors that are equidistant from itself from the color wheel, and also I just tried to stay within the same color scheme for the whole drawing. So basically purple, yellows, blues, and I did add a little bit of peach in there to like soften it up and I started to do the background and then I thought oh yeah I'm almost finished but then I looked at the drawing I'm like there's not enough contact in her contrast in her face you can't see her face I spent so much time doing the face I even took my time to do freckles and stuff like that so after doing the background I had so many layers for the background I did not know which one I wanted to do what type of style at first I wanted really really bright but then you couldn't see her and so I made a bunch of different layers trying out different color modes because I didn't just want like dark colors and just this so I went back and I shaded more of her face I went with darker shadows but this time I had more ideas which purples work which type of purples work oh which is why i love this film because the color accuracy on this is amazing so it makes it so much easier to pick colors and i decided to add a, like a light triangle at first i was just using it as like uh, i was gonna make it prominent but then i started using it as more like a light source so that way her face has more depth into it and because i did not pick <laughs> I did not choose uh, the lighting uh, for this, so I did not know where to shade perfectly, but basically her, the whole thing is glowing, and uh, yes, I had a lot of fun with this, and I usually don't have this much layers because I like the painting style, but I, I still did the painting style with this, and I hope you guys enjoy the final outcome. As you guys can see, these are all the different layers as I scroll through. Um, I did a lot of different layers some of them are not even active some of them i hid because i was scared like oh if i colored this what if i wanted that color back and stuff like that so i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll catch you guys in my next live stream and my next video and have a good one bye